Hey guys. Oh hey. Thank God. Woo! It's another Super Goal Sunday. So on today's show we're gonna be talking about I don't want you to conform. I want you to consider me. Oh, you're so sexy. Where you get that from? I got that from you. Oh I didn't make that up. I didn't make I that did. up. I wish that I made that up, but I didn't make that up. So let me give you the backstory. Felicia and I are in the car and she's telling me about how she feels that we're not socializing enough, like how we normally do. And she's feeling the funk of it. And I didn't get, there was a disconnect for me. And she made this connection for me when she said, I don't want you to conform to my way. I just want you to consider me, right? So it's it's right you said that I did. it's like the simple things like looking like your man making you a music playlist and you open up said playlist and the songs are playing but there's no music that you like it's music that he likes you well, feel me so i'm using that as an example Right. What? What he's trying to say is, so you're in this marriage, right? And you've been in this relationship for 100 years. We're just going to just be 100. And, you know, your, your spouse knows you, or so you think, but they are so engulfed in themselves, in their needs, in their insecurities, in their desires, in and their them. job, yeah. that they're not really considering who you are as a human being just mm -hmm. who you are in the marriage mm -hmm. right and so we kind of arrived at that location so sharif and i it's no secret but like we don't love the same music okay like we're not i am i'm i'm an old it's no school. secret to us i mean they don't well, know that we've we don't talked love the about same it music. before on a vlog we have we did if you watch the vlog well I, if I guess. you don't that's your bet right so we we i like 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 r and b like r kelly sex me baby baby that's not r kelly but that's like that's the kind of music i like and my husband is like he likes the lord's music which is good i like the lord's music too but it puts me in my thoughts you know right. it makes me i'm in worship i'm like oh god you're hallelujah you delivered me ay, ay, ay. i don't want to feel that right. when i'm making dinner right. or he likes pop music which i don't like pop music at all right. i don't even like pop music from beyonce i don't like it from chris brown i just don't like, like pop, pop. My husband is the, the his the, his energy is the energy in the house. Okay, so he leads us truly. I'm louder, but he leads. Mm -hmm. And so I stopped listening to music for like seven years because Sharif is the controller of Alexa. Right. I'm shocked she didn't come on. Right. So basically. I'm getting them in a point, you know, my kids, we always, bro, it's always kids bop or yes. it's pop. And so I <laughs> just, bop, I'm, pop. or pop. So I'm walking <laughs> around, I'm grumpy, I'm annoyed because I want to hear R&B. So I'm at a phase of my life where I'm like, I'm taking back my power and I'm listening to the music that I like and I'm trying my best to not listen to the explicit version for my children but I'm I'm not going to just listen to kids bop all day right. and I'm not just going to listen to gospel all day. Right. It's just not where I'm at right now. And so m my husband was making a playlist where well, he made a playlist for me to work out to. And when I press play, the playlist was all pop. I cannot function to pop music. Like I just can't. Right. So I was like this isn't any, you know, you know how we we're in the moment. We're just like, any guy, and he's like, you just don't like anything. So we had this really awkward thing happen, and it it turned our weekend upside down. Yeah. And so basically, I was telling my husband in a car, when we were alone. I like my husband. Did I know. You, uh, did you just say we're alone because you wanted to emphasize that the children? Yes, because you shouldn't have us. these kinds of conversations <laughs> and when your kids are in right. ears of you. <laughs> okay. So my my husband is someone who I would have never described, just being honest. Um, aesthetically, as soon as I see him, I'm like, y'all know I'm into him. But I would never 
you know, my former 12, 13 years ago self would never be like, I want a light skinned man who's tall and thin and he wears his hair in a curly fro and he wears a choker with a button up. Ah skinny leg jeans with bow legs i would have never said that i might have said tall light skin and thin yeah and definitely bow leg right nice gray to hair but not this right right and, and person you would have said not exaggerated features you would have said that i too. definitely hate the exaggerated features. <laughs> you would have said that <laughs> but i love your face yeah no and and i love that my husband is transitioning and he's feeling himself and he's finding himself and we've all we all go through seasons where we're not ourselves and then we find ourselves that's what i want to talk about um i i want to interject there because when when you say finding myself I think that's where the disconnect happens mm, too. Okay. Because on the path to finding me, we tend to forget we, right? And so the the reason why I think that's so important is because you're right. In the finding myself, I'm I'm over here trying to do me. And then there's also like you said, you're taking your power back. Mm. So you're finding yourself too, right? Like you're you're rediscovering yourself. Okay. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like because, and the reason why I'm saying that is because you you've had more serious relationships than I have. But or, this isn't about relationship. This is about self. Well, yes, I realize that. But the reason why I say that is because you know what it is to be in a relationship, a, a serious monogamous a relationship. You're my first. So I'm finding me in you. You already. Uh, kind of know your flow like you posted something did you post it on facebook or did i just see you you uh she gave advice to somebody saying no listen you need to kiss as many frogs as you want <laughs> just don't give up the cookies kiss as many frogs as you want until you find your prince just how don't give you, up the cookies how did that come in your news feed because my eyes i saw you typing it you know, I'm always paying attention uh, to you. So the reason why I think that's so important is because you've you've had the opportunity to kiss frogs and mm-hmm. you found your prince. Mm-hmm. And so I I lucked up or in my Christian tone, I was blessed up and I found my princess frog. I guess I say <laughs> like I found that in you first go around. So I'm finding me in, in this. You're rediscovering you. Okay. But in both of us finding, it's like, do, 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 do. But where, 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 where you went is you were saying, you know, like, I just need you to consider me. You don't have to conform to my ways. I need you to consider me. Somewhere along this journey, what's happened is while I'm finding, I'm like digging digging for me digging for me oh this is who i am oh this is how i operate in this type of thing and you're doing this oh yes i remember that's what i'm that's what i like that's the kind of music that i was into but you're doing this a uh, babe you okay over there while you finding you are are you okay and i'm doing like this yeah yeah i'm gonna gonna good chip chuck 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 i'm i'm not turning back to inquire about you and so but that's like women that's if you a real good woman, I, I just think that that's y'all strong suit. Y'all, y'all, y'all multifaceted and you guys multitask is what I'm trying to say. Like y'all just, y'all in the stove, y'all thinking upstairs, y'all thinking about tomorrow, yesterday, how can I please my man? You doing all this at once and I'm so focused. I'm like compartmentalized. Family's here, wife's here, profession over here. Let's do this profession thing right now. And I don't check back in. And so that's where I need to learn mm-hmm. from you and where I am learning from you. But when you said that uh, to me, I don't need you to conform. I just need you to consider me. I think that's so impactful because if a woman was to say it that way, and if a man who has an ear enough to hear was to hear it that way, like that caused me in that moment, I believe, to repent and to really want to uh, to change. Not to do a 360. I want to do a 180. I want to go in, in a complete opposite direction. Of where I was. I don't want to turn around and be in the same place. Feel what I'm saying? So I think for anybody out there, like that was strong, what you said. I, I said it because I I feel like sometimes my husband isn't honest with me. I don't think he lies, but I don't think he shares certain things with me. Right. Out of out of the thought that I will re- reject his idea or reject him. Right. And the reason that I went through describing how attractive he is to me 
is because I wanted to point you guys in the direction that Sharif is someone who I am really attracted to inside and out. There's not a whole lot that he can do that's going to turn me off. But I don't know that you know that. Yes. I, so I, I think I, I brought up our music types because I think I still like to to talk about new music. I still like to debate about what song is hot, why the artist dropped it, what they wore, what they talked about. That's my lane. That's something we, we share. That was one of our initial connectors. But because he likes pop and I like R&B or he likes gospel and I like, you know... Those R&B. thuggy, <laughs> R- those thuggy rap songs. She don't like no thuggy. Rap I like song. Jada. You, yeah. You know I like Jada, you like and Jada. I like Kevin Gates. Yates. Y- Yates. You don't even know whatever. Name. I like his music. Mm-hmm. I like that. I feel like you don't share your thoughts about music. Like Sharif was listening to some music for like a month, and he didn't tell me about it. And then he told me with this chip on his shoulder, and I'm like, I don't care that you was listening to that. I ain't gonna listen to it, but okay, I'm open right. to hearing your thoughts about it. And I think that happens more often than not. And the music is just one layer of it. And it's important that you understand that I'm not going to agree with everything you like. I'm not going to love everything you like every idea that you have. I'm not rejecting, but I'm not rejecting you. I'm rejecting your idea or I'm just debating it. Cause heck, that's what I like to do, but I don't want you to change who you are because Sharif brings this element into my life of difference. Right. Like I said, I would never paint this, but I love this. I'm open to this. Right. But if you would have never presented it to me, I would have never had an opportunity to get to taste it. Right. And and that's something that I am working on. And I, and I like this video because like it if you like it. I like it if you like it because I think I think at times people speak from like they pontificate. Mm. They speak from this place from the throne. Right. Right. Like. I've got it together and mm-hmm. I'm letting you know I'm not pontificating. I'm in the process. Mm. I'm in the process of learning this that, you know, even if you you with the same chick for 12 years and when she says to you, I like this about you, that about you, and, but you may not you may not either like those things about yourself or you may be thinking, do you really whatever that uh, came from, however, that was downloaded into me? I don't know yet why, but I'm discovering it. And and then it's also the right if your partner is saying if, if your spouse or if your partner is saying something to you and they reject an idea, it's not rejecting you. But how I magnify that is when you reject an idea, that does mean you're rejecting me because this idea, I, I may feel so strong about it and because you don't agree with me and you're my wife, we're supposed to be one. We're not thinking the same on this thing that's fundamentally Important just exciting me. Oh, right. Okay. And so it's like, wow, you disagree with it. So you're disagreeing with me. And if you disagree with me, are we really friends? Will we be friends if we weren't married? Or is this, are we friends because it's circumstantial? And then it goes back to, yeah, would you even really be my friend? Wow, my wife wouldn't be my friend if if if, if we were just trying to be on a friend train. So she's not somebody who, she, who I would want to be around. And and. She wouldn't want to be around me. And then it goes into that whole thing. It, it just spirals into this, this, this abyss that I have to claw my way out of or she has to pull me out of. So, <laughs> so it's like I'm, a pro- I'm in the process of working this out in myself. And, you know, during the process, you've just been very patient with me, of course. Like your patience bar is bar none. So... That's that's helped me out a lot. But what you said again, like in this video, is just like I'm not asking you to conform. I'm just asking you to consider. consider. That that really helped me out a lot because then, you know, you're telling me it's okay to be you. Yes. I accept you for you. I do. I may not accept certain things that you say or how you think. No, but that I, has I might not like. I it. I may not like it. But right, I but I accept, accept it. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I may not like it. But I'll accept it. You know, it's like I may not want you to come into my house dirty with mud and stuff on, but just consider me in taking off them shoes that's so you it. don't track it onto the carpet. You know, and that's and all just, I'm saying. That's all I'm. If you I'm know good. that I like R and B music, right. please do not make me a playlist Correct. with pop music on it. Correct. 
And that was the easiest and, and most... Um, I think simplified. Yeah, and without divulging too much information that we could do. So, in you know, in your, in your endeavors, because we had, like I said, we had a rough weekend. And um, my husband told me flat out, I was like, come to bed. When I didn't say come to bed because that would have been humbling. I basically just had a tantrum because he wouldn't come to bed. And he was like, I don't want to come to bed. And I was like, say less. You know, that, that anti-wife rose up in me. Say less. I got it. You don't want to come to bed. But what it boiled down to is he didn't want my company. And that's that was my take home. Like, he doesn't want to sit in the bed with me early in the morning. He doesn't want to be around me. And mm, that's, deep. that's what I felt in that's, that moment. That's definitely not That's why I said, I, I got it. Okay, yeah. I got it. And you I were like, that. what you got? I got that. You don't want to be around You don't want to be around me. Yeah. I'm in the bed right now. This right. is what I want to be doing. I want to watch Christmas movies on a Sunday morning with my love. And right. you're telling me... I'm going to do everything but that, which right. is saying to me, I don't want your company. Right. And that's crazy. And and that is, thank you for saying that. Did you tell me that earlier? No, I didn't because I was, in, I was anti, okay. I was ghetto. I yeah. was like, hell, my nigga. Uh, like, but the fact that, that you're saying that now for me is is because like, I can even add more context to that. For me, the reason why I didn't want to be in the bed is because every day and especially every weekend, I do this challenge of I'm not doing enough. See, uh, for me, I, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, the family and I'm thinking about this book that's being pushed. And also right up there with the book for me, actually above the book is my wife's birthday is coming up. I know my birthday is coming up on the 31st, but yours is coming December up March 31st. 31st. And I feel like like this is your 40th birthday. This is like a big deal. So every time the weekend comes up, I'm looking on my phone like ding. I just got a notification. Hey, maybe I can do a DoorDash. Maybe I can sign up for Instacart. Maybe I can try to uh, sell something online and make more money. Maybe I can sell something at the... So I'm thinking, yo, I don't want to be in the bed because I should be doing something to make money. And that's where like that gap is too. Again, going back to what we said, well, what I said earlier is that finding me, like I'm trying to just chase, 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 chase. And I didn't, I could have, if I was in my sane mind, I could have looked at that when you said the bed, because Felicia's not a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's, are we watching movies on the couch or on the bed? She'll like to go on the bed. But for the most part, she's not a sit in the bed with your bonnet person. No. So because I know that in my sane mind, I would have been like, yo, right. You you talking about being in the bed. We haven't spent time in the bed in the morning all weekend is actually saying you haven't spent time with me all weekend. Right. You know what I'm saying? So with me. Right. With me. And I like you so much. I just want your company. Right. Right. I get that. Like I just wanted your company. Right. And I wanted some too. Oh, some too. <laughs> but I want some too, baby. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I can't get to this bag. No. And I get that too because <laughs> uh especially like this babe, uh you know, like she throws hints at times, you know, women do that, and she operates in her woman, and so she throwing hints like when you say things like, "Ooh, my period must be coming," because I'm getting bloated, and oh, like these pictures, you know, my stomach looking a bigger. Really, what I'm hearing from that too is, "Come on," because she's a coming, is running out. <laughs> she's a coming, and it was just like all weekend, like Sharif was just not feeling me, and I was like. For me, it's and this is you know I've 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 experienced trauma in my life, and so it's not easy for me to just submit, right? So and that's to anyone, and so I can't. My husband can't go from like n not paying me any attention to just jumping just, into bed and right. okay, love it, okay. No, I need him to. I need warming up, right. and so when he's avoiding me all weekend, and then then he wants to get into bed and rub his toes between my, which he know I love that. Oh, you do love that, yo. I, Low honestly, key. 12 years, I did not know that you loved that. I, I thought do. that was just my way of like... like and, but I love it. Oh, I wow. love that. It's your thing and I've, it is I've, my thing. I've become accustomed to it. Right. But I'm like... But I'm. But my heart is hard, hard right now. My heart is hard right now. Right. So I'm not... I'm not able to be as girly yeah. and as... Fem I'm, not, I'm not able to soften and show you... Right. The parts of me that you deserve because I have this wall up. Right. Because I feel like I need to be a statue in order to be seen. And that's right. That's next week's show. We're going to talk Ooh, about like that. how as women, we put these 
walls up. Mm. Because especially in our culture and in our society, that's what we have to do. We have to protect ourselves. Mm-hmm. And so it's not as easy to go like, oh, finally, your arms. Right. You know, you're like, mm, them arms there. What, how long they going to be there? What right. them arms do? Right. And so, Dang. yeah. So I just want to close with, um, you know, making sure that your man, your husband, your lover, your boo feels confident in knowing that you don't want him to conform. Mm-hmm. You don't want him to change. Mm-hmm. If you do, you shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Okay, you should try to embrace who he is because that's where all the magic is. I mm-hmm. believe all the good stuff is at the bottom. Right. But you know, you do want him to consider who you are too in that process. Exactly. I was gonna close that way too. So I mean, go ahead and close the preacher way. No, do, that's do that thing no, you do. Sprinkle them glitter. That was glitter. that was a beautiful way of closing. And I'm not. I I've learned like when somebody says a good close, you don't go back. That's over what that he said when he preach. Game. Don't do that. Don't so, do that. That was perfect to me. Yo, we'll see you guys next week. Next week's gonna be I think the 27th. Will we see them? Are you saying we're doing a live? Is that what no, you're saying? No, no. I'm well, that's the only we'll way we're going to see them, Elder. They're going to see we'll us. See, well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all see us next week. <laughs> I'll be talking about your staple laughing. There it is, right there. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, you guys will see us next week. I think that's the 27th, and that may be the last Super Go Sunday video of the year. Listen, so we, I'm logging on. I'm one. live on December 3 1, baby. December 3 okay? 1, baby. December 3 1, I'm going live. Okay, get your cocktails ready because I'm going live. Because <laughs> it's my me and birthday. And he's dropping that young book. Yes, baby. Boom! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I love, I love your book. The book is bomb, y'all. I'm going to talk about this book to the day I dropped Dizzy because yeah. the man worked on this book for eight years. I was like, why are you being a perfectionist about this friggin' book? Mm, right. Publish the book. He published the book. He wrote it. He published it. He got someone to work on the cover. Yes. This is his baby. It's got pertinent information in there. It's mm-hmm. life changing. It's not life changing because I'm fond of him. Right. It's life changing because when you are with someone and they love their mama, it's so confusing when right. you don't understand the depth of that the relationship. Right. It's deep. And so what I love about your book is it breaks down the man in these these sub categories yes and it's my favorite which whenever i share a post it's always like the action figure and the flower flower. Mm. that is so it's so relevant to me because i have brothers and i have a mother who taught treated her sons like flowers Mm. instead of action figures Mm -hmm. and so i'm very mindful to treat my son like action figures and if you just think about that very simple term action figure versus flower your son is not a flower right he's not going he's not a flower although he does every son every man possesses a flower side as well as an action figure side but you want to make sure that you enable the action figure and don't constantly feed the flower because when you feed the flower what's going to happen is as a mom especially when a man gets into a relationship with another woman then 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 she's either going to be a flower in a relationship with a flower and feel like this ain't working because there's too much flower up in this joint or she's going to force herself to be an action figure and kind of support his flower which just makes her more dominant and frustrated but all of that is going to be in the book it's really powerful i love so, to hear you talk about this book powerful work I'm, I'm i'm very happy like i said i don't call it a book i call it a blueprint this I, I I have a lady wood, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Yes, because it's nighttime. Yes, and I want to get him upstairs. Yes, before my period comes. Yes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, guys, when something seems bad, turn it around and make, make something, something good. good. And it's not a goal. It's not a Sunday. Oh. You you gonna get it right before the end of this year? Well, why? What about our other one? I don't remember. What's the one you had? It's not a Sunday unless it's Super no Bowl marriage Sunday. and mimosas. That was me, but he can't do them. What's the one? Oh, remember you said you're gonna do it for the podcast. I don't remember. <sighs> well, yeah, we'll talk about that. Probably it was taking the place of eggplants and tacos. Oh yeah, I have. We're gonna introduce that next last video. All right, <laughs> blessing, peace.